Okay, we're going back to the bed area. With the bed out, you have a little step right here, step up. I want to expand this step. I want to bring it out a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the carpet up, then I'm going to measure how tall it is and how wide it is. It turns it out it is about nine and three quarter inches tall by just under 14 inches wide. Now I'm going to go get some one by 10 wood and cut them down to two pieces that are nine inches by 14, one piece that's nine and a quarter by 13 and three quarters, and two pieces that are seven and a half by nine. Now I'm gonna use my pocket hole jig to make pocket holes. I'm gonna make two on the bottom edge. Now you can see the pocket drill bit has a little drill bit on the front followed by a bigger drill bit. You just wanna drill through until you see the little drill bit start to poke out the end. Then just repeat the process on the other end and do this to both the seven and a half inch boards. Just keep on drilling, and as soon as you see that, you're... now take the seven and a half inch boards and flip it over to the other side. You're gonna set the jig and do the same thing. You're gonna drill a hole, so you barely see the little drill bit pick through, then you're gonna go, and you wanna do all four corners. And you wanna do this to both, of the seven and a half inch cord. So you want two on the bottom edges and four all the way around on the long way, like so. The pocket hole jig I got from Lowe's, I think it was like either $9.99 or $14.99. And the clamp I'm using I got from Harbor Freight for $1.98. Now I take one of the seven and a half inch piece of board and put some glue on it. Set it down. The long way. Into okay. the edge. Set it down and line it up with the 14 inch up. piece. And use the pocket holes to put screws in to, to pull them tight. Flip it around, take the other board, put some more glue on it also. Set them up and put screws in, hold it down and make it tight. Make sure you line them up good. Now put some more glue on the other end, take your other 14 inch piece of board, line it up, and put a screw up to hold it in place. And there's the other side, put another screw on the other side to hold it in place. And I flip it around, lay down, and put another screw in the two holes that I need to do for the box. Eh, not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. On this, I'm gonna line up the back, have a little bit of overhang. That's it. Now I'm gonna take the hinges and mark where I wanna put them. Recess the hinges into it. That's why I'm gonna mark it. Let's mark one side, mark the other. Move the hinge down to the other side and mark it there also. Now I know where I need to cut to make a recess. So I just grab my utility knife, score it, and I start shaving pieces off and just keep on shaving it. A little time is consuming. Every now and then you might do a test to see how it fits and just keep on shaving it. 
and needs more and just shave it more. And finally, when you do get it shaved all the way down, it should fit nice and flush. Just needs a little bit more on that end. And now it's nice and flush. And now I can do the other side. And just the same thing again, just back and forth, back and forth. Get it nice and trimmed out. And then it fits nicely. So then just put, put some screws in the hinges. And just put the screws in. Grab the other hinge, put it on, put the screws in. Then after you get all the, the screws in, it will open pretty good. Now I got some contact paper that matches pretty close to what's in the RV. Just gonna take a piece, cut it. There's the box on the flat edge, front edge, roll it out on it. And just work all the air bubbles out. Get it nice and flat as I can. Roll the corners. Roll down the side, pressing firmly to get it to a heel adhere well. Take a little utility knife, do a little trimming to get it to wrap around nice and tight. And it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go drill a couple holes coming out the back side, just some pocket holes. Just that way I can in. put a couple screws in to make sure everything's tight and that can screw against the step that's there. There we go. So I'm gonna slide the extension right in against the front of the step. And I'm gonna take some screws to the pocket holes on the bottom and screw them down into the floor to hold it in place. And I'll also take the screws and screw them through the back to hold them tight against the step. Very tight. Shut the lid, looks good. Now, the carpet I messed up a little bit on, but I I'm gonna fix that a little bit, but by just gluing E6000 and taking one piece and put it. that one to fill it in. And this is the finished project. Looks pretty good. I put a little drawer latch right there to snap shut. And everything works good. Took the E6000, put some down, took all the fiber from the carpet away, and filled in the areas that were missing. So you can hardly tell that it was messed up. And that is the step extension for the bed with hidden storage.